Hello friends from the web, my name is Scar, and this is 7 tropes of persona design I believe you should try to avoid. Okay, so this video is a list of 7 persona tropes or design cliches I feel like should be avoided or at least built off of for those people who are designing their persona or new characters. Some of these I fall victim to, and some I have actively tried to avoid when I designed some of my own characters. If you have any I missed, please tell me in the comments below. Anyway, let's get started. Number one, the darker side. Okay, so I see this absolutely everywhere. Dark forms, demon halves, you know what I mean. The chaotic evil half to balance the smiley joyful half. On paper, it's a great starting point, but I feel it's been done to death. With my own son, I completely avoided this. In fact, Scar wasn't supposed to have any powers either, but that did change. More on that later. But to even today, Scar has no evil half or anything of the such. I just feel like it's been done way too much. It's everywhere. I see this everywhere, like I said. I am not mentioning these names to bash anyone, but just some examples. Nitrogen has Radon, an abyssal Dutch Angel Dragon that pretty much fits this description Kiara, although I have no idea if this is canon or ever was as this demon form she debuted in a short animation clip. I will admit when it comes to Mob Fusion Ultimate and my Minecraft stories, this is present. But it brings up something I want to mention. I believe these cliches can work if they are fleshed out enough. Another small cliche is lab experiments cause your powers. Again, uh, This is Mob Fusion Ultimate, but again, it's been heavily fleshed out. MFU wasn't just given powers, he was physically altered, and not just some variant of how he looked. He literally is a collage of different creatures in this case. And the people who did it have motivation, have character. It's all been fleshed out and stuff. Most of this I didn't exist until through Hajik 303, but now it counts. It works, but on a base level I feel it still suffers from the overuse of this trope. Number two, floof, floof, everywhere. Okay, let's set aside avians, scalies, and all other misgroups of species for a moment. This obviously only counts for personas with fur. People like soft, fluffy things because it feels nice and relaxing. And I guess most furries take this and run with it, and what we get is a competition of who can be the fluffiest. Holy crap, I mean, I get it, but it's like literally everywhere. Scar has short fur because I wanted him to have more of a sleek feel to him. Also, canonically, Scar doesn't have tufts. Maybe it makes no sense. I don't care. It's my sona. I do what I want. Number three, glowing mysterious markings. What else do I have to say? It's everywhere if there's a power-based persona. Yeah, they do look cool and they're amazing, but it's been killed and with how frequently it's been used. As it scaled up, Scar would glow and his fur would begin to have visible electricity flowing through it. This was changed with the Scar glowing being removed and his fur turning dark before it crackles around with sparks. The basic concept was there, but I wanted it to look very different. A point of, my point here is, if you're going to do it, just add some diversity. 4. Themed and Unrelated Powers I want to be honest, this one I feel like might be more of a personal bit of pickiness on my part, but I still want to share it. Okay, if you're going to have powers... I think the best way to do it is to pick a concept or two and go with it. If you're being absurd like shooting lasers from your eyes and flight, like Superman or something, I guess this doesn't count. But for the rest, don't have the ability to cast a fireball and leave it at that. I mean, unless it's like a biological thing like fire breath, being a chameleon, or an actual spell cast, make it an actual theme. Turning it into an ability to manipulate fire or even summon it, this allows for a lot more creativity. When Scar finally did get powers, after being presented with the idea by Luna Sky and me accepting it, Scar was given the ability to manipulate electricity. Much later on, even becoming it was thrown in. It allows for much more creative freedom. And I can attest this from personal experience. Now the last point I want to make here is that having extra powers for the sake of having them only. This does tie in with another trope later on the list, but like, well, like with Scar at one point, I added in the fact that he could breathe underwater for absolutely no reason. I soon changed it to ability just to hold his breath longer since it made more sense. The only other one of these sort of things he had was the ability to see at night. But that's just a physical trait considering he's a cat, so, you know, I let it pass. 5. Power Mastery Okay, so if you're introducing powers for your Sona or creating a character with powers, please don't make them perfect in the sense. Think of it as how you don't start an RPG at a high level. Very rare is it to find a max rank player. Most people are going to be in the mid-range. There should be drawbacks to using powers, and or side effects. This is something Luna taught me the moment she wanted to help me give Scar powers and even followed herself. Even if the ways she did so were sometimes questionable. Uh, I don't know. Luna was a... Luna's a very weird figure. 
This makes characters feel more grounded in a genuine manner and in turn makes them more relatable and likable. When it comes to Scar, he started out with the strange things like the weather always changing around him, sometimes having power surges as well. And the first only ability he had for a small sp was a small spark that could make someone's first stand on end, aka floofing someone. <laughs> Take into consideration number two on this list, and I've had a lot of fun with this idea. Gradually, over the course of seven of at least seven months, I added and removed things until I felt like he was at an acceptable level. This was displayed during all the role plays in this time. To me, at least, it made his new ability feel genuine. One last word on this: God Sonas. Just no, <laughs> please no. Maybe in an environment where God's sonas go specifically, but they feel so out of place in normal, everyday role plays. I have nothing against them. They just feel weird most of the time. Number six, hybrids purely for one purpose. Okay, when I say this, I am primarily referring to one thing that can drive me insane sometimes. Don't make yourself part dragon or bird just so you can have wings. Add in some more bi other biological changes. Horns, anatomy shape, scales, literally anything else that makes it more than just one change. And please limit yourself, don't go overboard, otherwise you end up with people who are mostly wolf, then part dragon because they have wings, part fish because they can breathe underwater, part cheetah because they can run really fast, and yada yada yada, you get the idea. Just please don't do this. Alright, number seven, this might seem a little obvious, but Mary Sue's. Last but not least, please don't be a Mary Sue. If you have an idealized version of yourself as your persona, that is honestly something I can you think is a good idea and can even get behind as it's something I do but please don't make your character perfect they shouldn't be good at absolutely everything or able to pick up things at an unrealistic pace I also mean everyone has flaws small or minor and making your personas like any kind of flaw I feel doesn't make any sense I'm okay with it because hey this fan is about forgetting about all our problems and having fun but it's when people turn this up to 11 that I think it becomes a problem. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please leave any please leave any cliches I missed in the comments, as well as your thoughts on my list. If you like videos like this and want to subscribe, please go ahead. I'm not going to try and persuade you like a lot of channels do. And if you want to help me grow, one share goes a long way. Anyway, this has been Scar. Cue a pause.